think. What do you make of, of that game and that finish? Yeah, too too similar to what we've we've seen in every game so far. Um, they yeah, they've made plays. Tariko made a play. Mitch Creek made a play. Cotton made a play tonight. Big big threes down the stretch. Um, pretty well defended. Um, but yeah, that's that's the end of the game. So we've obviously put ourselves in a position in each one of those games where we, we haven't quite had a significant enough lead. But I think well, we five up and five to go, and I think we got might have got eight up um, after Chris made that little foot pass. And and so yeah, just being able to defend down the stretch. And I th you know there's. There's a couple of scramble situations on O boards and we foul people and different things like that, screening situations, just all we've been talking about winning habits and we're getting closer, but we're not we're just not quite there yet. But I was proud. I was proud of the boys and you know the way they bounced off off the plane, way they come you know, Mitch started cramping, um, Shay started cramping, you know, everyone they gave absolutely everything today. And um, and we we just weren't good enough, but um, you know we're so close, and we know we have the of anyone in the league we have the chance to get better or increase um, you know our star ability on this team as well with with Casey once we get him healthy. So, but you know put ourselves in a little hole down 0 and 3 right now, and um, you've got to find a way out. How tough is it to keep the perspective on this? Because there were so many parts of that last quarter where you're like, this team looks like they're really clicking. And then, as you say, that last play gets them the win. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep it in perspective. I'm trying to, you know, you obviously just rattle back through every play down the stretch. And obviously, I'll go back and watch every play down the stretch again tonight. And, um, yeah, it's just, <laughs> just got to get better. And um, we know. We are. We're really close to being a, a good team, but um, we just haven't got over the line yet. But um, yeah, I see it right there. I can see the improvement that we've still got to come. Um, we know we're a bit younger. It's nice having Barlow back tonight. Just to, um, but again, he'll be better for that game. He, just, he wasn't as sharp as he would have liked to be in a couple of areas as well. But it was great to have him back out there. Just a couple of key rebounds for us down the stretch as well. But yeah. So many little plays that you'd, you'd love to change and a couple of calls here and there, but, yeah, tough one to swallow. Chris, um, how, how was, how, what did you make of the way the guys bounced back today from a, a train, a plane trip and all the stuff you guys have done? And what did you make of the finish as well? Oh, I thought uh, Mello defended that really well. Um, you know, he obviously feels pretty bad about it, but, I mean, you, you can't ask for much more. Um, and getting off the plane, I mean, we, we got our rest yesterday. We, we came in and um, went through our scout, went through our shoot around this morning, um, got what we needed to do and, and came out and unfortunately lost the basketball game. We, we didn't talk about the plane. We didn't talk about the travel. We don't want to. Um, unfortunately, we lost the basketball game. That, how difficult is it to finish games at the moment? as a team and get those, as Dean mentioned, those little plays done and just get all those winning habits down? Yeah, look, I thought we did some really good things. Um, some things that, uh, oh, no. Nah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna choose my words carefully here. I thought we did some good things uh, and we had lapses in areas that they really capitalised on and maybe we didn't capitalise as much on their lapses. So, um, you know, we gave an inch uh, and, and they took a mile and credit to them, they, they won the game. Did you notice Cotton's little wave off at the end there? He seemed to have, uh, after the last given the bench a little bit of a bye-bye. No, I didn't see. You didn't happen to notice, notice the team? Hey, he, won, he won the basketball game, he can do what he wants. So I'm not worried about that. With bringing the group together and getting ready for, for the next game now, how do you sort of go about that and sort of fixing up those little areas you've mentioned? Yeah, we'll probably keep it fairly light. Um, we'll review it tomorrow, um, practice uh, Tuesday, and take a day off Wednesday. I think you know we just need to get some load off um, some some guys that have that travelled and get ready. We've got a double header coming up in the next few weeks as well, so um, it's going to be important that we 
we, we just manage the load part of it really well over this next one and really, really freshen up some people. Um, and it's going to be, I think there's going to be a number of different things. There's guys that didn't play, you know, over 15 minutes tonight. Then, you know, they'll be working tomorrow. Guys that played a lot will get their rest. So, um, yeah, you know, looking forward to the next challenge, New Zealand and, and Cairns on a, on a double. And, and that's the kind of weekend that we've, we just can change our season if you go ahead and, and get both. Um, that's the focus right now. Chris, with, um, with this sort of the weeks after the US trip in the past, it's usually been pretty tough on the guys. Results haven't been great. Um, how, how do you guys get over the fatigue and whatever other stuff comes up in these next few weeks as you adjust back to this? Um, yeah, well, we can't afford that to happen. So we trust our, our staff, um, our high performance staff to, to get us to where we need to be for every game, um, you know, and it's on it's on everyone to be a pro right now. Um, we got to do the things that can get our bodies and our minds in the best physical shape to go into games and claw back, claw out of this little hole that we've we've put ourselves in. So it's, it's on every one of us um, as professional basketballers, and we put our trust in our staff. The way the guys played, in particular that fourth quarter, you got some clean to play between. Mello and Sean, yourself. Um, is that the sort of benefit of that US trip? You guys have had more time together and have a lot more synergy. Yeah, um, the the trip was was really beneficial. You know, it, it hurts that we lost two games, but um, we spend more time on court together, um, probably in that little bit than we have in the whole of preseason. Um, and the more we can continue to do that and, and bring some guys back in, it's going to be better for us. Um, it doesn't change the fact that we're losing basketball games and I'm sick and tired of it. But, um, you know, we, we have to keep working together. We can't splinter. We've got to stay together and keep moving forward as a group. Uh, Dave, you, you mentioned that you were proud of the group. And I, I think halfway through the third quarter, they went down 58 52. Mm. And given the week you've had, it looked like it was potentially a dangerous spot to be in to be able to come back and take the lead. Is the message still somewhat positive after the game for a lot of what happened today? Yeah, no, I'm not one to speak to the team straight after the game, but uh, tomorrow we will treat it like any other game and um, we'll go through some things that we did well, we'll go through some things that we've got to get better at. Um, but yeah, I'll certainly tell them that I'm proud of their efforts tonight. And just a couple of plays we execute better and a little bit smarter, set our screens a little bit better, do different things, you know, all those things that just, you know, give us those winning habits. And um, yeah, looking forward to the next game. Chris sort of touched on it that from a player's point of view that they're not going to use any excuses in terms of fatigue and that sort of stuff. But from your point of view, when you look at the, the trip as a whole and given the timing of it and in the middle of the season, do you still look back on that as a, a positive thing for the team to do that in the middle of the season? Yeah, you know, I'm a strong believer in how you get better as a team, how you get better as an individual is you play someone better and um, any time this team gets a chance to play someone better than them, um, we'll put our hand up and say, yeah, we want, we want to do that, we want to challenge ourselves. And that was certainly the message that we came off the trip to say, yeah, it, you know, the travel's the travel. We had business class, they slept well, they did everything. Um, we got the... Um, opportunity to have a great little mini camp over there and so we felt like we got better as a team and I thought some signs today showed that we did get better as a team. Um, just got to close it out. Dean, just on Casey, any chance for, for, for the next game? Or? No, he's, he's just started um, jogging and so um, yeah, the expectation is that um, he won't play next week, um, possible for the week after. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.